let's say you've received a theme pack that someone else has made and you want to install it. You can install it just by clicking on it, but I'm going to show you if you want to personalize. Here we have no theme packs installed. My themes, there's none. And you click this, and I'm just going to double click it. Automatically unpacks it. It played the music that was specified in the theme. And watch this down here. The sounds changed, the screensaver changed, the windows color and the desktop background changed, and it selected that theme. All automatically from the theme. Now the interesting thing is here, the screensaver is set to photos. Okay? The photos is going to be pointed to wherever your photo screensaver is set to point to. So let's look at how you would change this to point to the photos that are in the theme pack, which makes sense to me. Fortunately, there's no way that I have discovered to make it easy to do that. So how you do that is you come down here to screensaver, and you say settings, and you go browse. Now the trick is how to find the location of where the photos are at. And that, you come in here to themes, you go to desktop background, and it has this big path here. There's no way to copy that or get to it from here. Maybe we can get to it from here. Properties, there we go. Properties, it says location, all in, and then you can actually click in here and scroll over and select that. You can go copy. So then we'll go back to screensaver and settings, and there's no way to paste that in here. So what I have found works really well is open up notepad, and paste this in here, put it someplace you can see it, and go browse, and then you can always type in the location where you want to go. So we just click on here, All right, gym, app data, it's kind of a pain to get going, I don't know why, Microsoft, Windows, Themes, Idaho, it's right, you press the right arrow key to expand it out, okay? Desktop background, select that. Pictures from desktop background, save. And there we go, if I hit preview, it's playing the images from my desktop background folder. That's if you're using the photo screensaver. There's a couple other screensavers that are available that do a better job. Well, so there's the Windows Live ga fo Photo Gallery, which is available from Essentials Windows Live. Here, I'll show you the page you can download that from. It's download.live.com, has that in there. It's just like the photo screensaver, except it adds the ability to pull the photos off the website or off the internet instead. Anyway, but it has themes. That's okay, so it's a little better. The other one that's probably better is, let me look at the themes here. Themes. Oh, okay. So it has a couple little things. I didn't look at that before. Oh, and then the browse is the same thing. You have to browse out to the directory that's in. The other one that's available is Google Photos Screensaver, and that's available from the Google Pack, pack.google.com. You can get the Google Screensaver and more. It's all available from that Google Pack, which is also a free download. And here, you say Settings, Specify Folders on My Computer, and then you say Add a Folder. And again, you have to browse out to exactly the folder that you want, just like before. Select that folder. This is a different folder. It happens to have the same photos in it. And then it will change automatically. This one has some cool effects. I can do a collage and you know, all sorts of things. You can change really frequently. Which you can get away with that on screen servers, I think. And then I can also pull them from online. Now one thing about if you change the screensaver, let me already save that, is now it's created a new theme. Okay, unsaved theme. Now here's the really real kicker here. If I right click on this theme and say delete, and then save this theme, it will delete all the wallpapers that this theme is using because it's based on that theme. Kind of an oversight in Windows in my opinion. So you'll want to make sure you keep your original theme. There's no way to rename it or anything like that. So before you install the theme, you might give it a more meaningful name, like original. That way you know not to delete that one or you'll lose all the photos that are in it. So you might call this one as Idaho Screen C. 
over 2. Okay, And that way you know this one is a variation of that one. Because if you delete this one, which I'll do right now, all of a sudden, there's no wallpaper in this one. If I go to desktop background, it's just got solid color selected. And if I go to the screensaver, which I did the photo screensaver pointed to that directory, it says there's no pictures there. So it would break things. So that's everything you need to know. And now it's created a modified version of the one without any photos in it. Isn't that lovely? So now you know how to set up a, a screensaver to do the rotation on the photos in your theme.